What is happening, y'all? Welcome on back. So, uh, the island is right over there. And I want to fight that dragon, but I also think it might be worth it to try and grab the thing first. Unless I need to kill the dragon to get the thing. That's also a possibility. This is, this is definitely the meeting place. There we go. Dragon wound grease. Um... Well, we got the key. Um, that dragon does not see. I mean, I know I have like my my you know, my three death rule, um, but that doesn't seem like it's gonna happen. But I am going to put a marker. Um, marker of bad thing. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, that thing. I mean, a, a swipe did. Like 99% of my health and then his flame breath killed me instantly. That's, that's, uh... I know when I am out of my league. And that dragon is definitely out of my league. The little island looks kind of cool. Is there maybe a, uh... Maybe a dungeon? Uh, one of these. Uh, this is gonna be harder than the dragon. Got it. Ash of War, Thop's Barrier. We met a dude named Thop. Um, I know this isn't where I was going to go, but considering we can go out west, let's go out west and see what's out here. Maybe we'll find a grace, maybe we'll find a map thing. We found one of these. Cuckoo's Everjail. That looks like a dungeon over there. So far, these ever jails I tend to do pretty well, with the exception of uh, Super Mega Poise Man. That one was a different story. I have killed plenty of giants before. And you were all the same.
god, bro. That is disappointing. I think I'm going to upgrade my hammer. I mean, I'm liking it. It's good. The range sucks, but it does bonk the shit out of stuff. I think I keep holding off because I'm just hoping I'll find something that I like more, but so far that hasn't been the case. Get over. There we go. If I'd gotten my criticals, it would have, you know. guy is mixing it up. The other thing is, like, I don't have a frame of reference. Like, the fact that I can just do two charged heavies and stagger, um, you know, pretty much anything I'm fighting, is that, is that just, like, that's what charged heavies do, or is that because I have a big-ass hammer? Because if I, like, switch weapons and all of a sudden I'm not getting staggers, I would be a sad boy. This guy's starting to... Oh, by the way, we're, we're fighting this thing until it's dead. Like, it was basically dead the first time, and I just messed up. I think what I might need to do, honestly, is just pull it uh, to the middle of the arena, because I've, I've noticed that with a couple giants. I'll knock them down. Um, but then they, they land in such a way that I can't get my critical follow-up. Which, that sucks, because, you know, big damage. I gotta use some stamp as well.
there we go. Great Blade Phallix. That sounds like a really, really good spell for casters. I'm guessing it summons up multiple Great Blade. It was the thing he was using, so you multiple Great Blade summons and they seemingly seek out enemies, which is pretty crazy. Nerd tree. I don't know, I, I really like the, like, rocky mountainous plain areas. I like it a lot more than giant swampy killer lobster land. Gotta find a grace. Ah shit, it's up top. You should send me to a dungeon, right? Sword dance. Is it pointing me to the the art of war? Nope, here we go, there's a dungeon. I'm about to say, I'm like, where is this thing at? It's funny, we get out of the like mega swampy zone and we're back into like rocky mountainous plain type thing, and then we find our first dungeon over here. Alright, let me um warp though. Where was I gonna go here? I wanna upgrade my hammer, I think. Travel to a site of grace from this location. Okay. Um, those both suck. Travel. Why can't I travel to a site of grace from here? If I go out, can I? There we go. Actually, I don't know why I shouldn't have come here just yet. I was gonna upgrade my hammer, but I just realized that I can hit my one point of dex. And then I can try out that dragon hand thing and see how I like that. Hmm, it's weird that I couldn't travel away from it, but I can travel to it. go outside so I can actually see what I'm doing here. Wow. We got a thrust and then an uppercut. Yeah, I think keeping that in my offhand... Well, 
169. The damage on that's pretty good. Let's see. Because having something that's fast would be really useful for my build. Oh, wow. You really hurt. Seemed like it did a lot of damage, but still knocked him pretty fast too, though. These guys are very aggressive. I kind of want to upgrade that Dragon Fist. It seems really good. It's fast. I don't know if like summoning pools does it so like you can only have one active at a time or is it like oh you've activated it now it's always active type thing. tested the rune arcs yet. I'm pretty sure it's just like an ember. Let's go that way first. Maybe this loops around. And path ahead. Oh my god, a real hidden path. Mm, 
major Chalice Dungeon vibes right now. Alright, so this is... This is where you, you finish this area. Let me finish killing the stuff here. I feel like that giant fire rain thing that comes out of this gauntlet would actually be pretty amazing in PvP. Like, I don't know how hard it hits, but at least visually, it reminds me a lot of like people trying to dodge like Chaos Storm. Watchdog staff. I'm guessing that's like a uh, human bone shard. So many things. Assassin's approach. Darkness. Incantations. Sorcery of the Crozier. Channel magic into the glintstone to activate an ancient sorcery. Produce floating magical projectiles that chase enemies. So it's a staff that... Wow, 34 strength. Jesus. Watchdog staff. Colossal weapon. Strike physical. What? Oh, it's just a... Just a big hammer. A big hammer that uh, you can do sorceries with. It sounds, I mean, based on that description, it sounds like it summons up um, homing soul mass. You bitch. Try it here. All of my stats are boosted. Yeah, and I got a heal out of it, so it's it's basically an ember. Uh, 22, 23. Wow. I'm guessing that effect stays until I die. and soldier ashes. Uh, 59. Uh, I'll try him out. shield no skill okay so yeah this this might actually be like a solid setup just shield and that one-hander thing like I wasn't sure what to think at first but it does some does some pretty 
I mean, the stun lock is, is really nice. I'll have to see how it works on a boss, and obviously it wouldn't be as good against something that's fire resistant, but... I mean, how many things are, are flame resistant? Spirit Caller Snail. Hang on, his health bar isn't going down. To, this is like a, um, a Lorraine and a Mothric situation. I need to kill that thing, and then after he dies, some kind of snail will show up that I can nuke. Come, Warhawk. It's not like a multi-phase, like I kill him and then I can do some damage to the snail. And then I kill him again. Alright, um, well that weapon's not upgraded, so it would make sense to just use this. What? 
damn. Um, this sucks. I did such insanely little damage to that snail thing. Um, I don't even know if I could I could beat this. I wonder if I can die next to the door to retrieve my goodies back. This is a fight where I think it would be really helpful to have uh, to have a summon along, not like my spirits, but like an actual player, just because I'm getting damage and then the other one appears and it's too far. We're gonna try uh, one more here. fight this guy later. I'm trying to think if I can get my runes out of there though. Let's see. Lose all runes. We don't want that. Boost rune acquisition. I really want my runes. I mean, it's not a ton, but still, it's like 2,000. This is gonna work. But I did drop him like right there. To come back to this place later. Nope. Damn. Um Fuck! Well I'll, do, I'll try one last time. He just hits too hard.
damn. Yeah, I'm I'm just I'm outclassed here. Mainly because of the fact that I I can't I can't get uh those snails fast enough. There's just no way. So we're gonna wrap things up here. Uh we got the key to go into the city, which is good. Um I probably can't leave this area, can I? Yeah, let me let me go in and just just die real fast just to get to warp out do a sight of grace but we're gonna head on out try and uh, open up the city try and find a boss all that stuff but there's one thing i haven't tried you know how like in bloodborne you can kill the uh I was thinking maybe I could find the snail. Goodbye, 2600 runes. But anyway, wrap it up. Uh, we'll use the key to head on into the city in the next part, so y'all stay tuned and I'll catch you then.